Okay, so uh, page your item now. Brilliant. How can I come to the Consumer Electronics Show here in Vegas without doing a special number all about pagers? And here to uh, help me start that off is Kirk. Yeah, his name really is Kirk. Captain Kirk How you doing? from Motorola. How you doing, my man? Doing great. Good. Where are you from? I'm uh, from Fort Worth, Texas. Great. And you're a pager man. I'm a paging man, absolutely. <laughs> I'm a paging kind of boy there. We've okay. got all kinds of new pagers here that we'd like to, uh, to tell you about. Tell me about them now, please. All right. This one is the page writer and it allows you to send messages right from the unit without hooking into a telephone. You can send messages to other pagers, you can send them to other email addresses, or you can send them to fax machines. So the idea of this little baby is not only that you receive your own pages in text form and, and whatever like you normally exactly. do, but you can actually write them. You can actually write a page, you can initiate it from here, or you yep. can respond. If somebody sends you a message, you can type a message right back to them without having to find a telephone. Um, oh, so I say, so you don't have to actually hook up to a telephone. You don't like do it and play it into the telephone. Right, exactly. Completely devoid of an operator, etc. This does it all wirelessly. Okay. Is there any sense that maybe in the future they'll be doing this with like a pen, like a text recognition type system? Sure. There'll be a lot of different things coming out in the future. We're looking at smaller, you know, more complex items that are coming out. Okay. This is definitely leading edge right now. And, and it's called? It's called the Page Writer. And is it going to be available in Europe? Uh, it will be eventually, but right now we're uh, we're looking in the U.S. and it will be available at some point okay. in Europe. Kurt, you saw me with this little uh, little one at the beginning. What exactly right. is this? This one is the the Tenor product. It's uh, an answering machine that you take with you. It's yeah, I got a nice press, like press play. That new pair of basketball shoes we saw at the mall last weekend. How about tonight after dinner? Excellent stuff. So, what features does it have? This has basically a fast forward, a rewind, just like your normal answering machine. It's yeah. got volume settings. Plus, you can uh, delete messages as well as lock them so you can't accidentally erase them. Good stuff. And again, is this the way that the, uh, the, the pages are going? Is this what the public are after? Absolutely. This is a wave of the future. Right now, it's so easy for somebody to call you, leave a message, and that way they can uh, you can hear it in their own voice. You know exactly what they're talking about. What's the retail on something like this? How much is it? Right now, it's right around $200 with, uh, then with some service. And are you aware of the fact that if you had three of these things, you would in fact have a very famous operatic singing group? Absolutely, the three tenors. Can't say fairer than that. I've got to look some more pages now, Kurt. We have another company who are probably heavily in competition with you. But nevertheless, thank you very much. Oh, great. Thank you. See you later. Uh -huh. Bob here is from Microsoft. He's been working uh, in cooperation with NEC on a uh, brand new kind of pager system called the Beacon. Could you explain exactly why it's so different? You bet. This is the, uh, the Beacon device. The idea is that it's an ordinary pager with the addition of the ability to download information from the PC. So the primary information you're going to be receiving is PIM information, uh, that's uh, schedule information, uh, reminders, and uh, contacts, as well as lists you might make yourself. Okay, so exactly what kind of lists are we talking about? They might be uh, grocery lists, to-do lists, as well as product lists for your company. Right. So let's say that you've got a business person on the road, they've got a PA or a secretary at home. Um, how is this system of use to them? Uh, the idea is, is that uh, unlike an ordinary pager that's going to be fairly fixed, you can customize it to the way you like to see it, uh, download information from the PC. So if you're already going to be having a, piece, a, a, a pager, I'm sorry, yep. going to be having the pager, it can also have that PIM information with you. It'll beep with you to remind you to uh, attend that meeting. You've got your phone numbers with you, you've got your list with you. It's like having a, a PC in your pocket. Absolutely superb. So it's actually got a memory within the pager, uh, a little bit like your computer, and you can update that. How do you update the database, though, if you're not at home? Uh, the idea is that, that uh, you'll modify it on the PC and send that down to the device with infrared when you're at the PC. But of course, when you're away from the PC, someone else can be modifying that data, the PIM data, the uh, list, the applications even, and send that down via page. So in the same way it receives an ordinary text page, it can receive a, uh, an object page also. Give me an example so that uh, for those of us who aren't familiar with this kind of technology, which includes myself, of how this would be useful. Well, the, the idea is, is that uh, you might have a, uh, a business example, would be you've got a uh, meeting which, which has changed from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. On your beacon, it says 2 o'clock. The change is made on the PC that is sent down via um, the, the paging channel. It's received as a data page. You'll be alerted to it, and your internal database is updated. So it's so superb. It, it, it'll now update you at, at 3 o'clock. Is there um, a limit to the amount of information that little box can hold within it? It holds about 20K bytes which uh, is, is a fairly large amount of, of information. And, and keep in mind that uh, the typical application is, you know, you're back at your PC every day or two, three, 
to update that information, uh, it's got a, a, about 90K available for the page store. So uh, one other, other point to note is that unlike an ordinary pager, which is very self-contained, you got to do your, your housekeeping on the device, any information you add or change is done on the device, you've got a, a PC to do that on. You use the PC to update your uh, uh, information as well as, as uh, view your page archive. So the way I look, like to see it is, I'm looking through this window at a Pentium computer with a full keyboard. Absolutely. Do you think that maybe this is the, uh, the way forward and that even palm tops are not going to be small enough for the uh, future consumer? It, it could well be. I mean, the, there, there, there are devices like the, uh, the HPC, um, other, other kinds of, of uh, palm top computers. They're more expensive and larger than this. Now, if, if that's what you want, those are very powerful devices. But if that is a bit big for you, if it's a bit expensive for you, uh, especially if you're already going to be having a pager anyway, this is a great device. Bob uh, from Microsoft and everyone at NEC, thanks very much. Smash in.